This duel took quite a bit of real time, but I did not get to do anything at all. Well, I did get to do one thing, but it didn't actually matter. This is because, as you can see, they have Royal Magical Library, which means they're probably doing an Exodia deck. Everyone who plays this face up is probably doing Exodia. Nope. Every free spell counter is to get to draw a card, and Chicken's game helps them with that, and allows them to draw more cards via the effects. And for some reason they're banishing Exodia pieces. That is unusual. Most of Exodia decks I see in, on YouTube just go with pure draw power instead of banishment, and then recovering it later. On the bright side, Upstart Goblin does help me towards the life point recovery achievement. Now we're about halfway to the for the deck, and I get to discard Spinny, which allows me to do my own move. My only real move. Yes, now I get to summon Gazelle because a Solomon Man Great was sent to the graveyard. It does not really accomplish anything in this duel, but it does send a message. If they fuck up their combo, I am now two steps closer to using access code to completely destroy the remaining hit life points. Yes, because I can always pull Spinny out later. They're more than halfway through their deck. Not good. And they have, t because they have two libraries, they can now draw it even faster. Two Exodia pieces banished. Two in the hand. They're so close. Now they have all the pieces of Exodia between the hand and banish zone, but they had no way to get out of the banish zone, so they scooped. Okay, this is the opponent's deck. They did have Pot of Acquisitiveness to pull out banished monsters from the banish zone and into the deck, but... It was- they did not manage to get to it. It was probably at the very bottom of their deck. They, were pro they probably meant to use a Lure of Darkness on the Cyber Ouroboros. So that they could draw more cards. But- because they might- but if they don't have Cyber Ouroboros in their hand, they're forced to discard Exodia pieces. This was supposed to be the backup plan, but it- it, 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 it never happened. I wonder what their win rate with this deck is. They mentioned they were pretty far into the rankings with it. Unless they got through the rankings with a different deck and just switched decks midway. Probably 90% of the time they're able to actually complete the combo and not have to scoop. Yeah, I'm not going to show off any other gameplay videos of this game. Since I am not that good. All my combos are really clumsy. It's actually very fortunate that they surrendered instead of allowing me to pull- use a clumsy combo to beat them. You know, just- I'll, I'll just stick to RPG Maker videos, it's the only thing I know how to do. Also, this- uh, this game does feel kind of gacha-like due to the fact that it's based on a TCG. Though unlike most gachas, it is possible to make a- a working deck as long as you know exactly what you want to begin with. The initial resources will at least be enough for that. But if you want to make uh, uh, make more decks, then you're going to have to grind or pay to win. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and maybe try out Master Duel for yourself.